guys welcome or welcome back to my channel as you saw by the title today's video is going to be another meal delivery kit review I've actually done a couple of HelloFresh review videos on my channel now so if you are interested in checking any of those out I will have them all linked in my description below but yeah I've actually been on HelloFresh for quite some time now I did end up seeing an ad for Home Chef that kind of caught my eye so I figured I'd kind of adventure off a little bit and try a new meal delivery kit service I do have a discount code if you are interested in trying out Home Chef, and that is for $35 off. I will have that code popped up here on the screen, and I will also have the link and code all in my description as well, so feel free to check it out. So for anyone who's unfamiliar with Home Chef, like I mentioned earlier, it is a meal delivery kit service. Each week they do send you a box, as you can kind of see right there. I will get into the unboxing in a bit, but yes, they do send you a box with all the ingredients you need to cook and prepare your meals for that week. I personally really like being on these meal delivery kit services because I can just kind of select what meals I want for the week on the app. They do have over 30 options each week, so there is a variety of meal options. I also like that it saves me a trip to the grocery store, especially for weeks when I am really busy or I'm just returning from a trip and don't have time to run to the store. I feel like I'm also spending less time in the kitchen because I'm not worrying about what meals to make for that week and I find that it is also very sustainable because I am wasting less food and I'm able to try out new meals that I probably wouldn't make for myself so I personally really like these meal delivery kit services for those reasons but yeah there is also a variety of meal plans you can choose on Home Chef and you can choose anywhere from two four or six meals delivered each week and you can have that for a serving for two people four people or six people so I'm just on the plan for two people with three meals being delivered each week and that is $55 a week which I don't think is too bad again this is for me and my fiance and I'm not sure how it's going to be with Home Chef but at least when we were on HelloFresh we had tons of leftovers where we were able to actually stretch that out for the weeks so I'm curious to see how big the portions are with Home Chef's meals but yeah with that being all said I will just go ahead and do the unboxing right now all right, so here is how the Home Chef box looks like. I will say it is a little bit smaller than the HelloFresh box, but again, just your standard box. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the flaps. It just says weekly variety, simple steps, familiar favorites, and let's get cooking. So I'm gonna just flip that open. So again, there are some ice packs in here. And let's see are these okay I think these are yeah these are the meal recipe cards so here is what we picked out for the week we just got these creamy turkey and mushroom rigatoni this one sounds really good here is the next one this is the tropical sesame chicken lettuce wraps and then the third meal we got for this week are the chicken jalapeno popper flautas with sour cream and corn these do look pretty good I think I'm most excited to try this out this week I just noticed that these cards don't actually state the calories for each meal. I know HelloFresh does, so that's interesting. I am curious how many calories are in these servings, but yeah, that's just kind of something to note. And then just opening up the rest of the box. So everything comes in a plastic bag. This is for the creamy turkey and mushroom rigatoni. And here is the second bag. These are for the chicken jalapeno popper flautas. And then these are, I'm assuming for the lettuce wrap. So there are quite a few things in here. And then the rest of the things in here, I'm assuming are the different meats. So, yeah, so here are the two meats. The next thing in here is the fully cooked seasoned diced chicken rest. Okay, so this one is cooked looks like there is a drink in here what is this Ooh, okay so this is a organic plant-based energy tea Ooh, i'm excited to try this out and then the rest of the things in here are just ice so i was about to break down this box and i totally didn't realize there was a, another thing in here so it looks like they also provided a little recipe binder where you can kind of save all your recipes so that's really nice and I do also personally like saving all my recipe cards in case I want to try and make it myself at a later time so this will definitely come in handy but yeah that is everything that came in this week's box I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything away and then I will check back in with you guys once I get started on making the first meal 
All right, so I am getting started on making the first meal and I will be making the tropical sesame chicken lettuce cups with pineapple. This is categorized as fast and fresh. So this is going to take a total of anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to make. The difficulty level is easy. It does say cook within seven days, spice level, not spicy. And the only thing I will need for this recipe is a salt and mixing bowl. It does list all the ingredients, which are all right here. Not that many ingredients and the chicken is actually already pre-cooked so that does save us a little bit of time here is the back the instructions are all pretty straightforward I will say with these recipe cards it doesn't list the nutritional facts as you can see right here you actually have to look it up online so I just pulled it up on my phone so as you can see this is only 360 calories per serving so it is a little bit on the lighter side but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly put this all together right now So here are how the chicken lettuce cups came out and it does look pretty similar to the picture. I will say that I wish the instructions were a little bit more clear. So in preparing this dish, you can either microwave the chicken or bake it. I wish I knew that. I actually ended up microwaving the chicken and also turning on the oven until I realized once I got to the bottom that these are two different ways to cook it. I am looking at it right now and I definitely don't feel like this is enough food for two people for dinner, especially for my fiance. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it out and then I will check back in once I get started on meal number two. All right. So so it is the following day and I am getting ready to make the second meal. This is the creamy turkey and mushroom ragu rigatoni with shredded parmesan. This has a 30 to 40 minute cook and prep time. Difficulty level is easy. It's not spicy and it does say cook within five days. There are just a couple of pantry items that you do need for this recipe. Just some olive oil, salt, pepper, and some pans. And let's see, so here are the instructions. It all looks pretty much straightforward. And here are all the ingredients that it comes with. For anyone who is curious on the nutritional facts, here it is. Again, it's not listed on these cards, but each serving is 710 calories. So a little bit on the higher side, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly put this all together. Here's how the dish came out. It does smell really good. And as you can see, the portions are really good. I was able to actually turn this into three pretty hearty servings. But yeah, it does smell really delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. I did top it off with just a little bit of chili flakes since I do like spice. But yeah, I'm excited to dig in. So it is the next day and we are at the last meal for the week. These are the chicken jalapeno popper flautas with sour cream and corn. This has a prep and cook time 
of 40 to 50 minutes. Difficulty level intermediate. It does say cook within five days. Spice level mild. In addition to this, it looks like we're going to need some olive oil, salt, cooking spray, a baking sheet, mixing bowl, and a nonstick pan. And here is just how the back looks like. And here are all the ingredients that came in this bag. I did also pull up the nutrition facts on my phone and this meal is 710 calories per serving, which I feel like is kind of a lot. So we'll see if we have any leftovers, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly put this all together. Here how the flautas came out they actually look pretty good I will say this did take quite a while to put together I couldn't get the right crisp when I was cooking it over the pan so I actually ended up throwing it in the air fryer for a couple of minutes um, and as you can see we do have some leftovers for tomorrow but yeah other than that it does look really good and I cannot wait to dig in all right, so we're at the end of the week and I just wanted to quickly pop on here and give you guys my final review on Home Chef, what I thought about the meals, the pricing, and if I think Home Chef is worth the money. Like I mentioned earlier, I have done HelloFresh for quite a few years. This was my first time venturing off and trying a, another meal delivery kit service. I really do like these meal delivery kit services because it does save me time in the kitchen with kind of planning out my meals during the weekdays. It saves me a trip from going to the grocery store during busy weeks or weekends where I just returned from a trip and don't have any groceries. I also like that I'm trying out new recipes that I probably wouldn't make on my own. And for me personally, I do feel like it is a sustainable option because I find that I am wasting less food. And again, just to quickly summarize, each week they send you a box with all the ingredients you need to prepare your meals and you can choose all your meals directly from their app and you can kind of customize your plan. You can choose anywhere from two, three, four, five, or six meals each week and you can choose that for servings anywhere from two to six. I am personally on the three meal plan for two people and this comes out to about $55 a week and when I scan through the app, there are about 30 different options you can select each week. So there is a variety and definitely something for everyone. As you saw earlier, I was actually able to stretch out some of the meals into more servings. So overall, I do think it is a pretty good deal. And I have mentioned this tip before in some of my HelloFresh review videos, but I always recommend selecting meals with higher calories to get the biggest bang out of your buck and really just stretch out those meals into more portions. 
And again, this video isn't sponsored or anything, but I do have a $35 off discount code if you are interested in trying out Home Chef, and I will have that popped up on the screen here. I will also leave the discount code and shopping link all in my description below, so feel free to check it out. Another great thing is you can cancel anytime for free, so there are no obligations to continue using Home Fresh if you just want to try it out for a week. All right, and so moving on to my thoughts on the taste of the meals we picked for this week, I did take some notes. So the first meal we had had was the tropical sesame chicken lettuce cups and I would give this a 5 out of 10. Honestly, I was just pretty disappointed with the portion of this meal. It was definitely not filling at all and definitely not enough for me and my fiance. I think the portion came out to about 360 calories per serving. And for me personally, I usually have a light lunch during the week, so I really like to have a dinner that will keep me satisfied throughout the evening and this definitely did not do that. But other than that, the taste was still really good. Another thing is I wish the instructions were a little bit more clear. I actually ended up preheating my oven and microwaving the chicken, not realizing that there were two different ways you could prepare the chicken, one through microwave or one through oven, and I just kind of wish I knew that. But other than that, taste was good. And so moving on to the second meal, this was the creamy turkey and mushroom ragu rigatoni. And I would give this a nine out of 10. It was honestly so good and so quick to put together. I honestly love mushrooms. So mushrooms and turkey in a meat sauce with cheese, you really can't go wrong with that. And the sauce itself was pretty easy to make. So this is a recipe card I will definitely be saving and trying to recreate on my own. The portion on this was also really good. As you saw, I was able to stretch it out into three servings instead of just two. The only thing I will say about this dish is I do feel like the meat to noodle ratio was a little bit off. I feel like there was so much meat and not enough noodles, but again, I really can't complain too much there since we did have plenty of leftovers. But moving on to the final meal of the week, this was the chicken jalapeno popper flautas, and I would give this an eight out of 10. This was overall a really good meal. It was super tasty, super filling, and as you saw, the portions were also really good. I was also able to stretch this meal out into three servings instead of just two, and we still felt very full and satisfied. I will say this did take a while to put together just because you have to bake the chicken, then roast the corn, then let the chicken cool, cut it up, then roll it, and then pan fry it. And I actually couldn't get the desired crispiness on the pan, so I actually ended up throwing it in the air fryer, which was fine, but yeah, other than that, it was a really good meal. I actually had the leftovers this morning and threw that in the air fryer and it was literally chef's kiss. And to wrap up my overall review on Home Chef, I do think it's worth it. I do think the price is fair. Again, I am paying $55 a week and that is for three meals for two people. I do think portions are pretty good other than the chicken lettuce wraps, but other than that, I didn't have any issues. All the ingredients were really fresh and the overall taste of the meals were really good. I really like that the Home Chef recipe cards includes how many days these meals will last in the fridge. So it's definitely helpful when kind of planning out what meals to make first during the week. I do wish that the recipe cards also contain the nutritional facts, but I actually had to look that up online. But other than that, no other issues. I do think I could have selected better meals this week just because I feel like the meals I selected were meals I can kind of make myself. And I am such a foodie, so I really like trying new things. So that's just something for me to note on my next order to pick out meals that I probably wouldn't make at home just to make the experience a little bit more fun. But other than that, I do enjoy Home Chef and I would continue using it again. I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any questions, definitely drop a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And if you're interested in seeing a video on which meals delivery kit service I think is the best, definitely let me know. Like I mentioned, I have done a couple of HelloFresh review videos and I think that would actually be a really fun video to do. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.